guys and we do my late night local brews. Uh, this week we're not late night and it's not a local brew. We're doing the uh, review on the uh, Sam Adams Fall Variety Pack. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's not craft beer, they produce too much beer. Well, in my opinion, I'm a big fan of Sam Adams and I think they're all really nice, easy drinkers. Uh, a lot of them can be really beautiful beers, uh, including their classic, which is their, uh, their regular um, Boston Lager. Um, they do produce something like 67, 68 different beers a year, uh, which is huge. I think they have the largest put portfolio in any brewery I can think of. Um, it is uh, National Beer Lovers Day, so happy National Beer Lovers Day. Hey! Yeah! So, uh, you know, I'm on here, and uh, just to give you guys, you know, so you guys kind of know, these three over here, so you got the Boston Lager, the Oktoberfest, and the Hobby Red, these are kind of older varieties that they've brought out. These are the new ones in the in the collection. Uh, so you do have the Bonfire Blonde, the Maple Ale, and then the Toasted Caramel uh, Bach. Which, if anybody likes a Bach, I do. I know it's not one of those uh, styles that a lot of people really know about or like. Um, and then, of course, we have the special Sam Adams uh, glass. That's... Uh, supposed to uh, scientifically proven make your beer better so um, again the question like the last craft beer box the Walmart pack um, I'm gonna ask the audience which ones would you like me to try I'm, I'm guessing these three are probably out because people have probably already had those uh, don't mind drinking three I don't want to drink all six because I don't you know I don't want to get too sloshed up here um, also just kind of want to talk about kind of the craft beer community and kind of what I'm kind of witnessing out there. Uh, it, it's been going on for a long time, of course, but going back to it, uh, Sam Adams, you know, they produce um, two, they, they produced 2.7 million barrels last year. So yeah, they're a big brewery. I mean, the guy's been out since 82. Um, kudos to him, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Jim Cook. Uh, if you ever see this, hey man, I'm a big fan. Um, but you talk about, you know, the micro breweries, the macro breweries, you know, the big giants of the industry, which is like uh, uh, Sam Miller Coors, um, and then you got uh, AB InBev, which is Anheuser-Busch. Um, you know, they're the big boys, and they're producing millions of gallons of beer, millions of kegs every year. Um, just to kind of, kind of give you guys an idea, to be called a micro brewery or a local brewery, um, you can produce 15,000 barrels of beer a year, uh, that equates to 460,000 gallons. So that's a microbrewery, uh, such as around here, local, adventure, that sort of thing. Um, again, Sam Adams produced 2.7 million uh, barrels of beer last year, they're kind of in the middle. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, and also a little, not a little tidbit of information for you, uh, to be called a craft, and this is from the, the beer association. It, to be called a craft, uh, the annual production of beer cannot exceed 6 million barrels. So, uh, for a beer to be called a craft beer, that producer uh, cannot exceed 6 million barrels of beer produced a year or annually. Um, so, do we have from the audience uh, any ideas as to which ones you'd like me to review or try? And I hope everybody likes my hat, because this is my old Sam Adams Oktoberfest hat. Thought it'd be a little festive for uh, National Craft Beer Lovers Day. Any takers? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Josh Hall says the last one. The last one? So the toasted caramel bock. Oh, you would go for the bock, wouldn't you? And then Mike Habinet says maple. The maple, okay. And look at that, too. I got a uh, Sam Adams uh, brass bottle opener. So you see, I'm a big Sam Adams. Mike that says uh, suicide. Mix them all. <laughs> I like your style, Mike. <laughs> you always exceed my expectations. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a toasty caramel bock. Another little tidbit of trivia. In the old days, they associate a bock with a goat. So you see, like the Shiner box, it always got a goat on it. Don't ask me why. I don't know the history behind it. So Jeff says you have a storm heading your way. You might as well drink them all. The storm is here. I probably will, and the storm is here. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, toasted caramel bock. Just, 
you know, it's going to have a nice multi kind of profile behind it. Uh, the commercial description behind this beer, a bold toasted lager with a touch of smokiness and molasses and sweetness. So let's see if that uh, peaty malt kind of comes through. Oh, and it does. That's a strange brew there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the, the peaty malt, the, 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 the smoky quality to it, mixed with that kind of, not overly sweet, but kind of higher, higher up there on the sweetness factor. It just kind of doesn't, I mean, it's all right. I mean, I can see that, like in the fall time, right? You go have a, uh, a campfire, you do a little, little marshmallow s'more deal, have a glass of this, that would go real well together. I can kind of... It's kind of what it reminds me of, anyway. So yeah, that's the uh, that is the toasted caramel bock. And then which which other ones did we want to do? Uh, the maple. The maple. Let me grab a glass out of my glass cabinet here. The maple ale. 6.4% ABV on this one, folks. I think this is the highest one in the box. Again, really beautiful color on that thing there. Nice copper hue. Carbonation is really nice. Not smelling too much maple syrup in there or anything. Yeah. Again, that, that, that kind of, I want to say like maple syrup and stuff, it's really hard to kind of get that get that uh, that quality out in the beer, I think. I mean, it's there, you can tell. Again, very woodsy, not really peaty or anything, but still kind of very, uh, again, you can, the campfire comes to my mind again. Um, really enjoyable, though. Smells delicious. Yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. So that would be the maple ale from Sam Adams. I think this box out of the way. Um, and then the other newest addition to the pack this year, the Bonfire Blonde. Commercial description got me kind of like, ooh, what's that all about? Um, slightly sweet and doughy. Hint of smoke and then a dry uh, tart finish. So let's see what this is about. That smoke again and tart. Kind of interesting. Let's see if it actually comes out. Beautiful golden hue to it. And again, folks, I think all these beer are lagers, so besides maybe this one, the uh, hoppy red ale. Ooh, that's interesting. That's really, really peaty. Really smoky, almost bacon-like. It's almost meaty. And then um, the description is perfect. It does. It has a really dry, almost somewhat slightly tart finish to it. That's an interesting beer. Um, I would definitely suggest going out to your uh, local supermarket or anywhere you can find Sam Adams. I mean, think about how big they are. I went to the Eagles Club last year, I think, and... I mean, they were sitting there with Budweiser and Coors Light, so. Um, again, kudos to uh, Jim Cook of Sam Adams with uh, his business and everything he's done. I've read some of his books. I mean, I'm a big fan of him, so. I think out of the three new ones, that one is my favorite because that is really interesting. Um, also, I've got this idea in my head. I like my culinary arts, so, in other words, I like to cook things. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing maybe a Josh's Cooking with Beer show. If anybody uh, has any ideas or um, would give me the thumbs up on that, if you're interested, please do so. Also, uh, uh, more later on down the road, um, starting next week, I think tomorrow, or, I'm sorry, next week on Wednesday, I'll probably be doing a show with Maltese Brewing. So I'll be there doing late night local brews. Again, kind of more of the traditional show. 
Uh, a few ideas. I've been talking to Neil, Mr. Neil Burton from Strange Ways. Uh, I've got a few ideas that I'd like to hash out with him and maybe do a show with him. Um, Wild Run. I'm going to travel there tomorrow and talk to the owners of them. Maybe do a show with them. The Veil, The Answer. So if anybody's got any hookups with them, uh, I'd like to talk to On at, uh, of course, Meet Con, which is The Answer. Um, and The Veil. Talked to them through email. Haven't really talked to them or know them personally. So, um, so yeah, that's that's really the show. Hope everybody enjoyed. Um, again, you know, if you find yourself at a uh, restaurant or uh, most restaurants carry these guys, so Oktoberfest you're going to see most everywhere, and of course the Boston Lager you see everywhere. Grab yourself a Sam Adams, enjoy yourself. You know, we're all about uh, promoting. Good beer. Sam Adams produces great beer. Um, so yeah, everybody enjoy. You're a Wednesday, halfway through the work week. All I gotta say to you is cheers. <laughs>